Hi. In this video, you will learn how to compute the surface area of an object and the conversion of units of area. This is Jack's Insights. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. Surface area. It is defined as the total amount of area of the surfaces of a three-dimensional object. The first figure we have is a cube. A cube is a 3D object with six faces all are similar squares. The surface area of a cube is the sum of the areas of the faces. For a cube, since there are six faces which are all similar squares, then the surface area of a cube is 6 times the area of a face that is s squared, or 6s squared. This solid is called a rectangular prism. A prism is a 3D object with two identical bases with lateral faces made of rectangles. The bases can be any shape. The surface area of a prism is the sum of all the faces. We have four rectangular lateral faces and two bases. So, the surface area is described by the formula. 2 times the quantity, length times width, height times width, and length times height. Next, we have a cylinder. A cylinder is a 3D object with two identical circular or elliptical bases and one curved side. The surface area of a circular cylinder is the sum of the two circular bases and the curved area. So, the surface area is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. The surface area of a cylinder is derived from this idea. We have two circular bases in which the area formula of a circle is pi r squared. And the area of the curved side, which can be illustrated as the area of a rectangle if you are going to spread the curved side. The length of the formed rectangle is represented by the circumference that is 2 pi r, and the width is the height. That's how the surface area of a cylinder being derived. This solid is a sphere. A sphere is a 3D round object like a ball. Every point on the surface is the same distance from the center. The surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. This is a cone. A cone is a solid, three-dimensional, object that has a circular base joined to a point by a curved side. The point is called a vertex. The surface area of a cone is pi r squared plus pi r l. l is the slant height. h represents the height of the cone. The height of a cone is from the vertex perpendicular to the center of the base. Take a look at these sample equivalences of units of area. To get the equivalence in terms of area, just square the basic relationship of units in length. Since 1 meter is 100 centimeters, then in area, 1 meter squared is 10,000 centimeters squared. And so on. Now, let us apply our knowledge of the surface area formulas and the conversion of units. Answer this problem. A cosmetics company that makes small cylindrical bars of soap, wraps the bars in plastic prior to shipping. Find the surface area of a bar of soap, in square inches, if the diameter is 5 cm and the height is 2 cm. Use 3.14 for pi. For the solution, Take note of all the important values. We have a diameter is 5 cm, so the radius is 2.5 cm, the height is 2 cm. Just substitute all the values to their respective variables in the formula. So, for the 2 pi r squared, we have 39.25 cm squared. For the 2 pi r h, that is 31.4 cm squared. 
the surface area is 70.65 cm squared. But that is not the final answer since the required answer is in terms of inches squared. This time, we are going to convert the surface area into inches squared. The area relationship between inches squared and cm squared, we have 1 inch squared equals 6.4516 cm squared. Determine the conversion factor to be used. So the surface area in inches squared is 10.95 inches squared. Another sample problem. Caitlin bakes two rectangular cakes to put on top of each other. Each cake is 6 inches wide, 12 inches long and 3 inches high. She removes the cake from the pan to frost it. How many square centimeters of frosting does she need for both cakes? Take note of all the given. L equals 12 inches, W equals 6 inches, and H equals 3 inches. Since we have two cakes, one is put on top of the other. Then we have three portions that are not part of the frosting. The parts are the faces in between and the other one at the bottom. That is why the formula is being manipulated as this one. Substitute all the values. Then, we have now, 504 inches squared minus 216 inches squared. So the required area for frosting is 288 inches squared. But that is to be converted to cm squared. For the conversion, just determine the conversion factor from the unit's relationship. So, 288 in squared times the conversion factor. We have 1858.06 cm squared as the required area of the problem. Thank you for viewing the video. I hope you get something about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.